Part 1. Listen and look. There is one example. Where is Aunt May going to play volleyball? Hello, Tom. Do you want to play volleyball with us this evening? Where are you going to play? At the beach? It will be too cold there. We're going to play inside at the club. Not in the school playground. It's good there. No. Can you see the tick? Now you listen and tick the box. 1. Who else is going with Aunt May? Who's going with you? Your mum's going to play too. Oh, what about Dad? No, he doesn't like volleyball. He's going to watch football on TV with your little cousin. 2. What has Aunt May lost? What are you going to wear? Oh, just shorts and a t-shirt. I always wear a hat when I'm playing. My hair gets in my eyes. I know. I usually wear one too, but I can't find mine today. I lost it at the beach, I think. 3. What time will the game start? When are you going to play, Aunt May? After dinner? Yes. We're going to meet the others at about eight, and we'll start the game at about quarter past. That's too late for me. I have to be home by 9.30 if I've got school the next day. But it's Friday today. Oh, yes. No school tomorrow. 4. What has Aunt May forgotten today? Last week, I forgot to take the ball and my towel. Why do you take a towel? Do you go swimming too? No, I always take one because we have a shower after the game. Oh, so you need to take some soap too. Oh, I've forgotten that this time. I must remember to put some in my bag. 5. What will Tom do this evening? So, Tom, will you play volleyball with us this evening? Well, no thank you, Aunt May. My friends are going to the circus, so I'll go with them. OK. Well, I'll see you in the cafe tomorrow, then. Have a good time tonight. You too. Bye. Now listen to part one again. 1. Who else is going with Aunt May? Who's going with you? Your mum's going to play too. Oh, what about Dad? No, he doesn't like volleyball. He's going to watch football on TV with your little cousin. 2. What has Aunt May lost? What are you going to wear? Oh, just shorts and a t-shirt. I always wear a hat when I'm playing. My hair gets in my eyes. I know. I usually wear one too, but I can't find mine today. I lost it at the beach, I think. 3. What time will the game start? When are you going to play, Aunt May? After dinner? Yes. We're going to meet the others at about eight, and we'll start the game at about quarter past. That's too late for me. I have to be home by 9.30 if I've got school the next day. But it's Friday today. Oh, yes. No school tomorrow. 4. What has Aunt May forgotten today? Last week, I forgot to take the ball and my towel. 
Why do you take a towel? Do you go swimming too? No, I always take one because we have a shower after the game. Oh, so you need to take some soap too. Oh, I've forgotten that this time. I must remember to put some in my bag. Five. What will Tom do this evening? So, Tom, will you play volleyball with us this evening? Well, no, thank you, Aunt May. My friends are going to the circus, so I'll go with them. Okay. Well, I'll see you in the cafe tomorrow then. Have a good time tonight. You too. Bye. Now look at part two. Listen to Rosie talking to a friend about places for a party. What is the problem with each place? You will hear the conversation twice. Have you found a room for your birthday party yet, Rosie? Yes, at the University Hotel. It's old, but the room's nice and big. Did you look at any other places? Yes, five. And there was something wrong with all of them. Why didn't you like Brown's Cafe? I loved it, but they're putting in a new kitchen, so they won't be open for two months.、Mm. And the Rivers Hotel? It was very cold when I went there last year. It's quite warm now, but it's not very clean.、Oh, pity. What about the Bridge Restaurant? Or is it too dark there? No. But the problem is, none of their rooms is free on my birthday. And it's expensive. Not really, but the garden house is. Oh yes, I know. I had a great dinner party at the Opera Cafe last week. It's fine for a dinner, but it's not big enough for a party. So, the University Hotel it is then. Yes. Now listen again. Have you found a room for your birthday party yet, Rosie? Yes, at the University Hotel. It's old, but the room's nice and big. Did you look at any other places? Yes, five. And there was something wrong with all of them. Why didn't you like Brown's Cafe? I loved it, but they're putting in a new kitchen, so they won't be open for two months.、Mm. And the Rivers Hotel? It was very cold when I went there last year. It's quite warm now, but it's not very clean.、Oh, pity. What about the Bridge Restaurant? Or is it too dark there? No, but the problem is none of their rooms is free on my birthday. And it's expensive. Not really, but the Garden House is. Oh yes, I know. I had a great dinner party at the Opera Cafe last week. It's fine for a dinner, but it's not big enough for a party. So, the University Hotel it is then. Yes. This is the end of part two. Part three. You will hear the manager of a shop. Leaving a message for a customer. Listen and complete questions. You will hear the conversation twice. Hello, can I speak to Anna Jones, please? I'm afraid she's out, but you can leave a message with me. I'm her mother. Thanks. This is Bob Watson from the shoe shop Forsters. How do you spell that? It's F O R S. T E R S. Okay, I've got that. Can you tell her that we now have the boots she wanted in size thirty-eight? We only had size forty when she came into the shop last week, and she'll be pleased to know that they're also in the colour she liked, green.、Uh, before we only had black ones. That's good news. Yes, and there's even more good news. We're having a sale, so they're forty pounds cheaper. Now they're sixty-five pounds, which is a good price. 
They're made of very good leather. Well, she'll be really pleased. Can she come and get them tomorrow at around five o'clock? She'll have to come before two o'clock, I'm afraid, because that's when we shut tomorrow. OK, I'll tell her. Now listen again. Hello. Can I speak to Anna Jones, please? I'm afraid she's out, but you can leave a message with me. I'm her mother. Thanks. This is Bob Watson from the shoe shop Forsters. How do you spell that? It's F-O-R-S-T-E-R-S. -E、OK. I've got that. Can you tell her that we now have the boots she wanted in size 38? We only had size 40 when she came into the shop last week. And she'll be pleased to know that they're also in the colour she liked, green, uh, before we only had black ones. That's good news. Yes, and there's even more good news. We're having a sale, so they're £40 cheaper. Now they're £65, which is a good price. They're made of very good leather. Well, she'll be really pleased. Can she come and get them tomorrow at around five o'clock? She'll have to come before two o'clock, I'm afraid, because that's when we shut tomorrow. OK, I'll tell her. This is the end of the test.